Great Cab Basic, GLCD Advanced Graphics and Fonts Demonstration, June 2014. Quick demonstration of something I'm just about to complete, which is a tool for putting graphics on on the GLCD under the Great Cab Basic. I've got a pick. Uh, needs to be quite, oh, sorry, needs to be obviously um, yeah, sufficiently large um, and it needs to have IC I2.6 software loaded, which is in part of the Great Cow Basic. And you can access images and fonts via I2C from EEPROM and they get put on the GLCD. Let's see, that's all it does. Really simple, okay. In the background, you can see it running. Image, fonts, lines and circles, fonts. Picture, no, no, little diagram coming up, dinosaur, okay. Um, A cat image of a cow, some two different fonts on the screen, um, and they're and they're not that's not a picture, that's fonts. So, how's it all work? Um, basically, um, what's the best way to show you? I've uh, got a tool, GLCD EE Manager. It's a cool little tool, and it it um, monitors the. Uh, this is the tool you load the tool that you, you load just um, information into. So basically, right, I've got my images, my fonts, five fonts. Look, one, two, three, four, and three images. And I talk to them. I uniquely identify them inside the uh, inside my code, and it. Um, I'm going to load it in. I'll do that in a moment. I'll do it live because I'm crazy. <laughs> um, this is uh, live whilst we explain some other stuff. Uh, so as you can see that this image here is the cow and it's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The cow is number eight. We're going to remember that because that's like really important. Okay. Later on. So how do we load this stuff? So what I'm going to show you is that I'm going to talk to the pick through common port four. Okay. Directly connect from the PC to the pick. No, no max, there's no max 232s in between. Okay. And then what? It's just direct. Um, I'm going to reset the pick, and, and then after I've reset the pick, the I'm going to press the load button, and the library is looking for some signals. Okay, and um, hopefully it will then load the uh, library in. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that is now transferring the information from this tool into the pick. It's going down a serial line next to me into the pick. That's going to take some time. So whilst it's doing that, let's have a look at the code. The code of the images running, okay, is here. And basically, um, these this is called an image PCB and image Dingo, an English image GCB. They are simply um, variables that have got uh, a constants actually, and uh, and they relate to something like number eight, seven, and six. The, the fonts are like the different numbers, and they just have numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first five are the fonts, and the last three are the images. And you can load your own into that tool. Then it's no great that you can load your own into here. It's great fun. Okay, it's sorting those out. And basically, you just say what font you want, what where you, what image you want, where you want it. The f smaller the image, the faster it loads. Obviously, if it goes off the edge of the screen, it scrolls the screen. You've got to get all that sorted. That's quite easily done. And then you print the screen. That's it. You print the text on the screen using this font. And that is it. That, 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 that's that's the command. And this is the other change font and put some words on the screen. Well, these this all existed before. All these lines and circles that all existed before. Uh, that went live in May, and, and then load an image in. And here's the one for the uh, GCB. And so, basically, the library um, picks up the information from the EEPROM uh, and then displays it on the screen. So uh, the library includes the uh, the loading protocol for the um, EEPROM for talking to the piece of software it, it includes um, a dumping utility to ensure that it's correct um, you, you might need it okay because you, you, you want to you want to see that you've actually got the right EEPROM loaded that's that's interesting um, but I needed it to make sure um, for debugging um, but what this thing is doing the software is, is passing a page down to the prick. The prick is then writing it out to EEPROM. EEPROM is then it's been read back from EEPROM and then it's sending it back to the PIC to do a verification. So it's doing a full test loop here. So the EEPROM should be the same as what's in this EEPROM content table here. But after it resets in a moment, 
okay we'll have a look at the contents okay because we've uh, I've included a utility to do that okay all right so whilst that's start just uh, finishing off I'm I've just opened up uh, putty and putty is going to be I'll talk to the pig on COM port 4 all right and when it starts up it initializes the COM port and I'm just going to interrupt it as well okay all right, there we go all the data's been transferred okay and it's away it's back now running okay okay there we go so if I take and reset the pick, okay, all right, if I reset the pick, come over here, there we go. Right, what have we got? We've got, we now can see the initialized, serial, serial being initialized, okay, just confirming that. It then confirms the port and of the IC2 memory. I've got uh, the memory pages on here, okay. Oh, that must be the, uh, the, these two must be the, uh, yes, that must be the uh, DS1307. I didn't realize that was connected. And basically it now says um, release the D key, which I've done. You can push the, D, the D key and then look, I'm going to press the space bar. Or oh, I'll just move it across here, put it under there. Doesn't matter. We've got the first few characters. I pressed it by mistake, and look, that's carried on behind us. But you can see, you can see that the first few characters from the EEPROM, okay, match this setup here: zero two zero three D A zero five B four ten B C etc. But that's it. So the code sort of works. Images get loaded, and they relate to here, uh, which is the constants. Um, you. Load a library, which is the standard library, because I'm just going to include it in the standard graphics library, and it runs. Um, a piece of demonstration code here. Um, you don't need to have all the pre initialization code on your code in your pick, you don't need that every time. You just need it in one. In one. So, this sort of routine here, which is only a couple of lines long, though, it calls two functions that goes and gets the uh, validate the EEPROM and sort of load the EEPROM, okay. Um, then the rest of it is all the graphic stuff. Huh? Truly, it truly is just the graphic stuff. Okay, this is to validate, and then we're into the the uh, supporting um, material. So here we have um, graphics, and that graphic was on my desktop somewhere. So I would imagine that's one of these uh, down here. Um, maybe it was already on there. Um, but you know, you, I created a picture like this yesterday. I here it is, I just did it in paint. So if I open that in paint, how do I open it in paint? I'm in paint. I can do my, I can do wonders in paint now. There we go. Test pictures, there it is. And uh, we can zoom in. Okay, there we go. I am not going to load it. It's going to take too long. But what I will do, I'll show you loading it into here. But so if I want to load that in, I'll just select it. Test pictures. It's in my database. I can now refer to it as number nine. It's as easy as that, and it will put that picture on the screen. So you can do layout in anything you like. I did it in Paint. Okay. And not obviously the cow, I got that from the internet, right? Okay, but that's now in there as number nine. I can delete it, I can press delete, and it's gone. It's really simple. So, this is um, how it works uh, just a recap of the, the library. Um, it's here is a load of image, that's it, as simple as that. Um, in the code at the top of the code here, which I built today as a demonstration. There is nothing in here that's unusual. Uh, there is the standard libraries. Okay, I will be uh, graphics libraries, and there's nothing special because it's using it's using um, the, our standard uh, library approach. Double click that, get rid of that. Um, okay, so that's uh, we'll call that a wrap. And that's um, demonstration of how to use um, GLCD graphics and images. I'm on the great car basic.